I've just received some news from my mother, who sent me an article from my local hometown newspaper. The music store that changed my life is closing down. Personally, this marks the end of an era. Music Room has put out a statement saying it's closing seven of its eight music stores due to rising costs and challenging market conditions. The music publisher Hal Leonard, who owns the music store brand, says it's shifting focus to e-commerce. Sadly, this means a number of redundancies, so I'm sending my love, my sympathies and sincere thanks to all the staff affected. The building on Catherine Street in Salisbury has been trading as a music store for the past 60 years. This shop has meant so much to me. It's where I bought my first guitar, all my sheet music and tabs. I made really good friends there too, including Ben Watsley, who sold me my first guitar and introduced me to Vigier. It was a place I went to every Saturday when I was growing up to just sit and play guitars and discover my passion. The guitar store in my hometown where I bought my first guitar is closing down. It's bad, it's terrible for music. Musicians should be able to try guitars and especially these smaller shops. I mean, I've been helped the most in these smaller shops. Good morning. I am always running late, so time to check out, but where was I? That shop was just such an important part of my musical education and life in general. It's no exaggeration to say that I wouldn't be where I am today without it. Well, I mean, I might, I might still have traveled to Rotterdam, but you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? I'm a realist. I know that things are very tough globally for everyone at the moment. Don't forget to check out with your ticket. The cost of even keeping the lighting and heat on in the UK right now is extremely high. And a lot of businesses, both independent and chains, like Music Room, are struggling to stay afloat. I know that no business wants to close and this must have been a very difficult decision for the management at Hal Leonard to make. The sun is coming out here in Rotterdam, but now it is sadly time to head to the airport. I'm also fully aware that guitar stores can be a little bit intimidating to go into. That chains can lack personality and online stores are incredibly convenient, have greater ranges of instruments and easy delivery. And that tabs and sheet music are just a little bit more convenient electronically than in paper form. But it's one of those unwelcome reminders we get throughout our lives that not everything can last forever. I feel like one of the remaining links to my childhood has been severed. That place was so important to me and many other people too. We've all read about the decline of the high street and what it means for our local communities. It's sad to think it'll probably be an estate agent's the next time I walk down this road. However, a shop I frequented on Castle Street in Salisbury and where I bought my first acoustic has actually reopened after a decade of being shut. Serum Guitars opened in 2004 and ran until 2012. And yes, it then closed and turned into an estate agent. But I'm excited to learn that they've now got a new store in Cross Keys in Salisbury. And here it is. This is a rare occurrence and a fortunate turn of events for guitarists in my hometown. And they're taking the rather unique approach of not going online. So if you're in Salisbury, go check them out and tell Nick I sent you. And there's a tiny present for the first 20 people that go in and say they saw this video. And I'm thinking of all the young players around the world who are just starting out, who won't have a place to go and try their instruments. I was so lucky to grow up somewhere with kind, patient staff who loved their jobs, loved showing me guitars with no pressure to buy. If you have a local guitar store, then why not show them some love? Because you never know, it might be the last opportunity you get. Okay, I have arrived at my destination. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, but also comment below with your thoughts. And as always, I'll be seeing you here very, very soon.